So let's take a look at the Tulips from Amsterdam collection. This is a beautiful collection and it's basically what it says. So it's tulips and windmills and everything you'd expect to see in Holland and Amsterdam. You've got your bicycles, your beautiful buildings. You've got fun stamps and stamp sets with really good um, sentiments on. You've got beautiful dyes. So I'm going to kind of mix match. So I'm going to start today by creating this card. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this lovely stamp set, this windmill stamp set that we've got here. And we're just going to add some ink to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, two tones of blue on this set. So it doesn't matter where you place the various blues. It hasn't got to be in any particular order. It just um, gives it that lovely two-tone effect. Just make sure that's covered. And then we'll pop this down. Got a little bit of my windmill sail missing there that I've not stamped. Lovely, so we'll just pop that bit in. It's really difficult to see what you're covering. Um, I mean, you're not, but a stamp platform makes that so much easier because you can just go back and pop in the bits that you've missed. Lovely. So we'll move that one off and then we're going to take our sentiment stamp. So we're going to use the, um, there's no place like home stamp set. So we'll pop that one down and we're just going to add some ink to that. So I'm going to use a black ink this time. So I'm just going to use my black first to find. So now we've got our image stamped. So if we move this stamp platform out of the way. So what I've done, and I've actually just pre-trimmed them. So this is a six by four piece of cardstock basically, and you need to trim it down to three by two so that you end up with four pieces like so. Let's make sure they're in the right order so I don't confuse things. So we're gonna end up with our image. It looks like a jigsaw, our image that we're gonna so I'll pop that one out of the way and move that one. So I'm just going to take a piece of dark blue cardstock. I'm going to use some 3D foam tape on this. So I'm going to pop some 3D foam tape on the back parts of each of these panels. So let's just pop that on each panel. It gives some lovely dimension to the card. It makes such a difference when you get that dimension. Um, on a card from using 3D tape. That down. So pop one on each one of them. First one. There we go. So we want to position these now. So I'm just going to have a look first of all see exactly where I want them to go so it's nice and even on the cardstock. So we've got a nice even border between each piece. There we go. Pop the back off this. piece down so basically we'll follow that piece now and that'll position all the others in a nice straight line there we go it just gives something different a bit different um to use your image go so we've got that piece there so what i've done i've taken a card blank already and i've just matte and layered some dark blue and then these beautiful tulip papers that come in the a5 paper pack and what we're going to do we're going to pop that bit on top i'm just going to use some twine to just add a bit more um decoration so i'll pop some twine kind of going around here so i'm sticking with this blue theme um just like that i think the stamps and the um illustrations Dear me, it's alive. Stamps and the illustrations are so pretty that actually 
just two tones make it look a really classy card. So we'll just tie the twine and I'll seal it down with some tape in a second. So we're going to use some 3D foam tape anyway, so it'll be popping off the page. There we go. Untwist that. We'll pop that down. So we'll get some 3D foam tape again. I'm just adding lots of layers to this card, really. So the image is so pretty, it kind of speaks to itself. So you don't want to do too much to it, um, but it really pops off. There we go, and we'll pop that down in the centre there. And then I'm just going to take my twine, I'm going to make a little bow with my leftover twine. Just make sure it's nice and even. Trim the tails on that. Use my hot glue gun and stick that down. So, nice, quick, simple card. As I say, you could make quite a few of those, couldn't you, quite quickly? If you wanted to, you could do all sorts of different tones with them, but I just think it works lovely with those blue and white papers. So, that's our first card. So let me just clear up the devastation a little bit and then what we're going to do is we're going to create this card here so we're going to die cut the windmill so we're using several different tones for that so we've got our blue card stock here and we're just going to die cut the windmill so let me just grab my machine and we'll die cut it again from these blues so that this part here i only want to use it for the roof so I don't particularly need to die cut the whole die. Do all the die cutting and then we can um, trim into it afterwards. And then the blue part we want for our sails. building of the windmill so that's going to be in the lighter blue Let's pop that bit down here so I've just cut all the pieces out and then we can have a look at it see what we're going to do with it so then I just want to cut some tulips so I'm just going to take some green card here we're going to cut all three of the tulips into the green and we're going to layer those together to give the heads of the tulips a um, different colour. That's not good, is it? when you're working in quite a small work space. So I'm going to now die cut the tulips again. So I only want the actual heads of the tulips this time. I'm just going to grab some purple here as well. So I've just die cut two of them from purple and one of them from blue. So I'm not using many colours for this card either, you'll notice, because those blue papers 
kind of speak for themselves without me needing to add too much colour. Right, we now have all the bits and pieces we need. So let's move this out of the way and it gives us more room. we don't need. So our windmill will pop out all the little pieces. Do you know what I've done? I've left all the bits in. Just now when I die cut it, I left all the bits in. I know it's not die cut. Oh well, so bear with me, I'm just going to die cut another one for a second. Let me just do the sails again. I'm going to pop that in the middle because I'm going to use that bit for layering in a second. There we go, that's much better. So I've left the die cut from the light blue in there and obviously then it hadn't cut through the darker blue. There we go. So pop out all those bits. I'm going to layer this onto a lighter colour actually so that you can see the lighter colour through. Let me get rid of all of those. So I've got a strip of just light grey card here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue those behind the sails of the windmill. So, let's just take a little bit of glue. Pop that onto the sail and then we're going to trim. It's quite simple to do because you're only going to trim off the edge a bit there. Go around and tidy it up in a second. Just stick all the pieces down first. So just position it on the edge. We know we've only got to cut one edge then. Go around and do that to all the sails. So cute with the windmill. Oh, one more to do. Now I'm going to take this windmill, we cut it now, I'm going to pop it back into my die. So position it so that it's back in in the right place. We'll pop that down onto the mat. So I'm going to take some of my blue in and get one of the small um, ink daubers. And we're just going to go over so we can add that brickwork to the bottom of the windmill. Just remember to clean your die afterwards because by the time you could go to die cut it next time, it's covered in blue ink. So that's out of the brickwork. So then we've cut the roof from this lighter blue card. We'll pop that on. We'll pop on our sails. Our windmill's ready to go. So we'll pop that to the side for a second. And then we've got our tulips. So the tulips we've cut from two different colors. I'm just going to snip off the heads of these and we're going to stick them to the green stems. So obviously it's a really good way of just using up all those little bits of leftover card as well. Let's take our stems, we don't need that bit. Stick 
those down. So last one, I'm going to do the blue one this time. So these are all the bits that we need here. All of these bits can go. So then I've got a white panel. What I've done, I've got two four and a half by four and a half inch panels. So on this one, um, this one here is going to sit behind this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take some of my distress inks. I'm just going to add some colour behind. So I'm just going to start by adding that yellowy colour. don't need to cover the whole of the card, just where that circle is going to go. Just blend in some of the orange there. So what we're going to do, we're going to see where this is going to sit now. So basically, it's going to sit like that. So I want my sentiment to go in there as well. I'm just going to grab my stamping platform. Have a look and then we can see where we want to position the sentiments the sentiments going to go there there we go so we're going to take our um Foam tape. Try not to touch the um, mat too much because it's quite inky. Just put some foam tape on each section of this panel. Again, it's just giving dimension to your cards really it's adding different layers and different dimensions which just draws the eye into where the design is socks you see just now that's where I cut the wing out of but actually we're going to cover that pop that down there so what we want to do we want to add our windmill onto this so we're going to pop our windmill kind of here so this one's going to be coming off the edge slightly more than the other one I did And then we're going to take our tulips and you might need to trim these down a little bit because we're going to position these coming out from the base. Stick these down. one so I'm trying to trim it so I keep a little bit of the leaf because it just adds that interest I think up there so basically that's the panel um, that we've created and then we're going to use some of the tulip papers again just layer that onto some Oh. 
not. And this panel, I'll pop there, I'll pop it on them 3D pad. Now, you don't need to see me stick on the sequins, I'll pop this one in. You can see I've just embellished this one, so I've just popped some sequins onto this one. I did use a little bit of twine as well, just to add some textures. But that's two cards that we've made relatively quickly. So this is all using um, those beautiful tulips from Amsterdam collection. Obviously, if you've got any questions, please let me know. And we would also love to see what you make.